It's your boy Black Spider Guy Advice. Hey guys, it's your boy BSG. Before I say anything, let's roll the tape. There's men that still kind of push this narrative that like women with very high body count is a sub woman. Why do you think they still do that? They say they do it because of the research on body count, which yeah. shows that people with higher body counts are more likely to be unfaithful. They're less likely to be satisfied in monogamous relationships, more likely to get divorced. You know, there's a lot of negative correlations with body count. And they say that it's because of the research, but then it's like the research shows the same effects in men. And you're not yeah. saying that men with high body counts are problematic. Oftentimes these same guys are saying that men with high body counts are like successful or good. So right. it's like, eh, it's, it doesn't seem to be a research driven idea. I love videos like this because we already know why men don't like high body count. We already know what it is. We already know that women select only the top, what, 10% of men. We already have data that comes from dating polls and surveys and dating apps. We already know that women are more likely to leave a man. We already understand that when somebody has consistently pair bond over and over again, that it weakens their ability to pair bond with somebody later on. We already know that ladies are more likely to want to be with a dude that is married than a guy that is not. We already know that girls are more likely to want a man that can please them in bed than a man that cannot. We have videos, surveys on this. You see, what a lot of girls will do is they'll shame a man out of his standard. And they'll find a guy that agrees with what they believe in. And they'll get him on a podcast and have him talk and use him as a male speaking point. A male voice in their podcast to try and justify their beliefs and say, aha, see, this man understands. But let me ask these ladies, would you date a man that has no experience in a bed that doesn't know anything about the female body? Would you date a man that has had no experience with any woman ever? There was recently a video with uh, women on Jubilee making fun of a man who didn't even have a girlfriend. Oh, I know who's going to be bad in bed, the girl said. And you can look that up on YouTube if you want to. Like, we already know why men do not want a woman who has pair bonded with multiple men. We already know it's going to make it much harder for her to connect with this individual, this guy. Harder for her to be molded by him, to be uh, led, as she will have been imprinted on by multiple individuals. Not only making it harder for the man to try to have a relationship, but making it more likely that she's going to dip, leave, cheat, and so on. Because, you know, if she's had multiple partners, and these men, let's say, are better in bed, better in this, better in that, even if the man is a good man, she will leave that man because he's not on par with these other individuals. Now, obviously, the men that have a whole bunch of women, it does affect them in some way. However, women and men fall in love in different ways. Men love a lot stronger than women do. It's a lot easier for women to separate from men. This is a biological design piece within the body. As women in the past had to rely upon a male's strength for survival. And if she did not have the right man, guess what? She was asked out. This has been your boy, BSG. Don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe.